If you are working with Excel on a regular basis, a lot of time you'll be wondering whether to use Excel formulas or VLOOKUP and which one to use when. So let's see which one is better using a very common scenario. So I have a list of customer ID here and their order. And then I also have a list of blacklisted customers. Now what I want to do is to map the customer ID against the blacklisted customer. So if the customer is in the blacklist, then we want to reject the order. If they are not in the blacklist, then we will accept the order and we'll proceed the order accordingly. Now in this case, usually the first thing would come to our mind could be VLOOKUP. Um, so let's try to do it. So equal VLOOKUP. All right, we want to look up the value for customer ID. Okay, and we want to look up at the blacklisted custom customer table array. Now, there's a common best practice when working with VLOOKUP is that whenever you want to refer to a VLOOKUP table, then the best way to do that is to insert a table. So th this way you won't have to free sales and the formula will always return good results. All right, so equal. We look up, okay, we want to look up the value in customer ID. So in this case, it could be D6. Now the table array is a blacklisted customer here. All right, comma, column index number is number one because the table only has one column. All right, and we want to return with the exact match. So let's put false in this case, close bracket, and then hit enter. But now we have a problem because if the customer ID matches the ID in the blacklist, then VLOOKUP will return the correct result. But if it is not, then it will return NA, not applicable. NA value will give us a lot of headache when it comes with uh, if function and formulas and such. So let's see what happens. So if uh, G6 equal NA, all right we want to accept the value if true is accept and then value if false is reject because basically the result is na then we'll that that means that the customer is not in the blacklist so in this so in that case we will accept the order if it is not na then that means that the customer is in the blacklist then in this case we will reject the order Okay, close bracket. Look what happens. Excel doesn't recognize NA in any of the formula. So it cannot return us the good results. So in this case, let's try to use a formula. So in this case, we can use the R formula. R formula is quite straightforward. Then it allows us to check if any of the arguments are true. So in this case, we could say Please check if customer ID is equal to 555 and then please check again if it is equal to 777, which is the blacklisted number. All right. Now, let's freeze the cell so that when we copy down the formula, the cell will not be, so J9 and J10 will not be pushed down. All right, so yes, so basically what R does is that it will check our value against all the conditions and then if any of the conditions are met, then it will return with a true result. Otherwise, it will return with a false result. With this in mind, we can do a simple if function. So equal if, if G6 is false equal false, then let's accept the order. Now, if you'll notice, I put accept inside two double quotes, and this is because accept is a text value. So whenever we are working with an Excel formula and we want to refer to a value that is not number, then uh, we'll need to put that inside two double quotes. So Excel will understand that it is text and not number value. Otherwise, reject the order. Okay, again, put it inside two double quotes, close bracket, and then hit enter. All right. And now that we understand the R formula and then the if formula, let's go one step ahead and put it all inside one function. Nested if and R formula. Let's delete this for now. 
Okay, so if a is the medi equal five f five, and then check the second condition if that if customer ID equal seven seven seven. All right, now lock the value of the cells, and you can do so by pressing F four on your computer. Okay, now. So the R function is completed if R function equals false, then accept. Okay, otherwise reject. Close bracket and then hit enter. All right, and our job is done. Now, a lot of you might be thinking, so having a combination of if and or function seems to work. Think again, because this is a very simple list. The blacklisted customer has only two values in it. But in the future, when the table grows, or we have identified more high-risk customer and put them into the list, for example, if we also put customer ID 111 into the list, then we will need to update the formula. Otherwise, it will uh, return uh, wrong results. In reality, the this list will, will be quite dynamic and it will be updated on a daily basis um, and then it will get changed all the time. So every time it gets changed, then we will need to go back update our formula accordingly. And this could lead to a lot of manual work which is not desirable. Alright, so let's again go back to the VLOOKUP function and let's see if we could do it better. Now, if you will remember, we have we were having problems with the NA value in VLOOKUP. All right. But anyway, let's continue with the VLOOKUP for now. And I will show you a workaround solution. Lookup value is 111. Okay. D6. And the table array is here. Okay. Column is number one. And the range lookup is false because we want exact match. Okay. Now, there's one very handy function in Excel which is called isNA and what it is NA does is that it allows us to work with NA values. So basically what is NA does is that it will check against a particular value. If it is NA then it will return true and then if it is not then it will return with false. So with that we could now do a simple if function that will solve the problem. So equal if if h2 is false then reject the order because it's in the blacklist if it is true which means if it is na then accept the order all right close bracket and yes it looks good now that we know that vlookup is not an e function will do the trick so now let's try to combine if is NA and VLOOKUP into one function. Okay, so if is NA, okay, and VLOOKUP, all right. And then lookup value is D6. Table array is here. Table four, blacklisted customer. The column index number is one. And then the range lookup is false because we want exact match, okay. Now, close bracket again. Now, then if it is true, then let's accept the order. If it is false, then reject the order. All right. Close bracket and then hit enter. And it's done. Now, this combination of VLOOKUP if and is an A function is a very powerful and very convenient and it can, it is quite dynamic so basically whenever the blacklisted customer table gets updated then um, it will be automatically updated for example customer id 777 have um, paid back in full and it is no longer a high risk customer so let's remove um, 77 from the list and look at what happened Whenever we do that, the table will be automatically updated. Now, let's say that we have decided to put 999 in the blacklist customer. 
Then look what happened. 999 will be automatically rejected. So we have the best of both worlds. But remember, it has to be a combination of if, is, and a, and VLOOKUP. It might seem a bit daunting, but once you get the hang of it, it will be quite easy and error free as well. So I hope you found this video useful. That's it for now. Happy learning and see you in the next video.